Welcome to this look at today's announcement, the 16th of September, from Giants. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Good news, everyone. Farming Simulator 22 will feature cross-play multiplayer. No more separation between friends on different systems. Everyone can play together regardless of their preferred platform. So, get your controller-wielding buddies online and show them how precise you can harvest those new grapes with mouse and keyboard or the other way around, which is obviously the angle I'm coming at it from. Um, Crossplay facts, what you should know. Which platforms are supported? Crossplay will be supporting uh, on Farming Simulator 22 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Stadia. Everyone can play together. How many people can play? If the server host is hosting from a PC, up to 16 players are possible including players on consoles. So if the person hosting it is on PC, 16. Um, if you're using a game console to hold, host the server, so for example, if I was doing it on PS5, up to six players are possible in total. Uh, when playing on a dedicated server hosted by Nitrado, up to 16 players are possible regardless of the player's system. So the follow-on question from that is, can console players rent and host servers? Yes, they can. Console players can rent and host their own servers via Nitrado 2, just like PC players. So if you are on console and you're renting a, a, a server from Nitrado, you can have up to 16 players on console with you hosting. Uh, can I deactivate crossplay? If you're worried that other players might be superior at farming because of mouse and keyboard controls, don't worry. They won't be. But you can still use filters to avoid cross-play servers, prevent players on other platforms from joining your server. So pretty much like multiplayer is at the moment, where you can set a few different filters for, for different things, for maps and that kind of thing, um, and mods and that kind of thing. You will have the option to have cross-play on or off if you want to. Is cross-saving possible? Only the host can save the progress. Farm progression is not saved for everybody else. So if I was hosting it, I would save the game. I could then come on and play again later on and get other people on, but you can't host in, you can't save individually. Um, how will DLCs and mods affect crossplay? Now, this is a big one. Um, and I think it's good. It will affect PC players more than console players, realistically. Um, every player has to have the same content, DLCs, and or mods. Which again, it's no different at the moment. If I hook up and I play with CLEG, um, if I've got mods installed that she hasn't, she has to go onto the mod tub, install them, and then, you know, or we can set them or take them off, or, you know, however you want to go about it. Um, so, um, you have to have them installed, the same ones as the server host. Otherwise, playing with miss players with missing content can't join the server. Console users can only join servers with mods that are available through the official mod hub on consoles. Stadia users can only join servers with no mods activated. So, how will slots for consoles affect cross-play, uh, cross-platform multiplayer? The hosting platform is setting the initial limit of available slots, determining the maximum number of machines, tools, etc. on that server. If a player with fewer slots available on his platform is joining the game, he will then set the new slot limit for everyone based on his platform. So, yeah, slots is going to be a tricky one. Like I say, it's going to affect, I think, PC gamers more than console guys from what I can see of this. If a server has already more slots occupied than supported by your platform, joining the server won't be possible. So if the person has got more slots activated, if they've got more slots available um, and they're already playing and you haven't when you come to join, it won't allow you to join. So since old gen and current gen consoles differ in terms of available slots as well, console players have to keep in mind the slot count when playing with friends using a conf console from a different hardware generation. So PS4 to PS5, again, will depend on what's available uh, upon release. Joint farming, uniting PC and consoles together at last. It's what we've been wanting for so long. Thanks to crossplay, cooperative farming will be more fun than ever. Work the fields together, occupy different farms, and help each other out where you can. With production chains becoming part of FS22, there's even more to do now. In other news, the latest fashion. That's not all, as if crossplay isn't enough. Now, obviously, uh, just going back to that a second, obviously, there's still going to be a situation where 
and, and you know PC guys and console guys like may not want to cross play they may want to stick to you know and I know some PC guys out there will feel that the console slot system and all that kind of thing will hold them back from being able to use mods they want in all honesty it's no different to how it is now you know play the game you want to play it set up how you want to play it set your multiplayer up how you want to play it people that can play with you will play with you if they can't they won't you know but if you're a, a, a pc gamer and you really want to play with some console mates you know it's possible and i think that the, for moving forward that's amazing so anyway that's not all so everyone can farm together in their own style the new character creator also allows for various new customization options just in time for crossplay. It does say stay, stay tuned, they're going to show it to us very soon, but get ready to put on shiny rubber boots, some cool glasses, and glorious moustaches. I hope there are some beard options in there. That will make me very happy. Uh, and don't forget to pre order your pre order bonus is the Class Zerion Saddle Track Pack and that Farming Simulator 22 will release on November 22nd for PC, Mac, PS5, Xbox Series X, S, PS4, Xbox One, and Stadia. Um, also available is the Year One Season Pass. Um, it does say get new content for Farming Simulator 22 and save money. So on top of uh, price advantage of Season Pass compared to buying the content separately, you'll save even more money if you are pre-ordering. So exciting times ahead i'm looking forward to it massively it was something that was mentioned way way back and a lot of people said oh, it will never happen they, they won't do it if they if it's not gonna happen for fs22 it'll be the next incarnation um wow just amazing stuff um so there you go i thought i'd just share the information this is an info sharing uh video uh, I hope you've found it useful and informative. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.